Welcome to Silent Hill 3. At the end of my original Silent Hill playthrough, I talked about how I wasn't sure whether I wanted to play Silent Hill 2 next or this game, Silent Hill 3. I decided on this one not because I'm not going to play Silent Hill 2, I may or may not, I'm still not sure, but because this is a direct sequel, apparently, to the original Silent Hill. I don't actually know beforehand how Silent Hill 3 is connected to the original, but because of the main character, Heather, I feel like they're probably the child that Alessa uh, manifested, I guess, at the end of the original Silent Hill. They made a child, which I guess was sort of a combination of Cheryl and Alessa themselves, and gave it to Harry to raise again after they already raised Cheryl many, many years. So I think Heather in Silent Hill 3 might be that character, but I'm not sure. We'll find out pretty quickly, I think. Let's begin a new game. Gonna go with action level normal and also riddle level normal. This is pretty interesting. The original Silent Hill just had one difficulty, but this one allows you to choose independently the combat difficulty and the puzzle difficulty. I looked up how hard the hard riddle level would be, and from what I heard, it's apparently extraordinarily cryptic. So, no thanks. I'm just going to go with normal. Just a quick note about what version of this game I'm playing, by the way. Um, there's a couple versions of Silent Hill 3. There's the normal one, which is what I'm playing. It's being emulated on the PS2. And then there was also a HD collection of Silent Hill that included a, a bit of a different version of this game. And that one has improved resolution. I think like textures and models might be improved as well. I think there's new voice acting for the main character, weirdly enough. I don't know if that means the voice acting in, in this version is horrible or, or what. I guess we'll see. Um, but also from what I've heard, it kind of hurts the atmosphere of the game. It's actually a pretty poorly, actually really extraordinarily poorly done uh, version of the game. It removes like a lot of the fog and a lot of the grain and stuff like that and makes things look weirdly clean and just kind of sterile. So I'm just gonna play the original PS2 version, keep things simple keep things how they were originally meant to be. Also, because I'm running this on an emulator, I did have the choice to render it at much higher resolutions, but I chose to go with native because I tried a bunch of others, even something as low as just two times the native res, and every time I increased it, it just didn't really hold up. Some of the limitations in the models and the texturing and all of that just became too apparent, so I just felt like it hurt the mood, so I've decided to just play it in the original native resolution. Alright, let's play. I remember this level well because I actually played the demo for Silent Hill 3 a long time ago, and this is the level for the demo. I remember this damn bunny. A rabbit doll. No, it's a costume. Is there someone in there? Looks like there is, but I don't feel like making sure. The controls are almost identical, by the way, to 
the original Silent Hill 1. One nice difference being that I have analog movement instead of digital. So much better. Why would this be here? Also, I don't know if the ability to look up in the view mode was present in the original game. I thought it wasn't, but now I think that I might have just not been using the correct stick. So if I use the right stick, I can look up. If I use the left stick, then I can't. And I always use the left stick in the original Silent Hill. Those balls over those red and white striped uh, like tarp things, they look like moons. I love that the fog has an actual like physical presence to it compared to the original Silent Hill. It's actually present around you. It's moving. It's blowing. It's physically there, whereas in the original Silent Hill, it was always just basically a, a view distance kind of thing. You know, a certain distance in front of you, it just started to get white. And that's really all the fog was. Door shut tight, won't open at all. I might have played the demo, but I don't remember where to go. Oh, I can get back here. Huge map signboard. To the north. Uh, that is, if I keep going the way I'm facing, I'll find the roller coaster. Is this an amusement park? It is. In fact, we are in Silent Hill. This is Lakeside Amusement Park. We never actually... Well, we sort of went there in the original Silent Hill. We saw a, a tiny bit of it. When we went to, I guess, find Sybil and then we had to fight them and all that. But it was in the other world and everything was totally messed up, which I suppose that's actually who we're in the other world here, too. But yeah, we didn't really see much of it. Is there somebody in there? What's this? Something strange in a cagey box thing. A person? Not quite. I don't really want to stare at it for very long, whatever it is. Yeah, I don't blame you. Oh, it's like... It's like moving. There's like dark tendrils moving all around. Ugh. Oof. Yeah, that's a new thing. Original Silent Hill, you can just run up to any, any blackness, any voidness, and then you just don't keep moving, but here, uh, I don't think you can actually fall into it, but you do kind of lose your balance and the controller vibrates. It's a popcorn wagon, but no one's here to sell it. Where did they go? Ah, that's where you go. Okay. Oh! Shit! I hope I don't die. Holy crap, how much damage do you take? What's my health? Uh... My health is blue? I don't know what that means, but probably not great. I think I should just run. Ooh, there's something else here. I hear it. Hmm, yeah, what are those things? I remember those. Oh, thank God, fuck. Yeah, they certainly throw you right into it, huh? There's 
a rabbit, a rabbit stuffed animal here. Boxes of cookies and chocolates on display. I love this kind of stuff, but I don't feel like eating it here and now. Some normal souvenir type toys here. Huh. I thought I'd say normal in a place like this. Boxes of cookies and chocolates on display. Oh, same description. Yeah, this is another pretty big change over the original Silent Hill. The original Silent Hill, there's very few things you can get a description out of Harry with. Most things you try to use and, and just nothing happens. But here, there's just tons of, of like flavor text for all sorts of stuff in the environment. Rough shirts for sale. I don't think they'd help me at all. <laughs> I agree. Even the tiny ones are bloody. The mouth part is stained red, almost like blood stains. Disgusting. Gumball machine? Lots of different styles, but I don't really want any of them. I'm getting out of this nasty place. If I had any tools now, that'd be a different story. Yeah, is there anything I can pick up? I don't think so. Just lots of bloody rabbits. Lock is broken, I can't open the door. Shit, does that mean I have to go back outside there? Well... I don't think I can fight them. They're too huge. They're too powerful. I have no healing items. I just have a crappy knife. Couldn't even kill the dog. I'm sorry, by the way, Bupper. Oh! Oh no, this one's not open either, damn it. I did play the demo, but I don't remember exactly what to do. As you can obviously see. <laughs> I'm just hoping to find something. No, there's nothing here. Okay. Ugh. Place. Oh, fuck, there's something here, too. What the fuck is that thing? I don't even know where it went. I don't want to know. Okay, maybe I should walk.
What a nightmare. I didn't call sooner. Yeah, I guess I was. Anyway, I'm coming home now. Oh, I didn't get that thing you asked me to. Okay. <laughs> okay, I will. I love you too, Dad. Heather, I need to speak with you. My name is Douglas Cartwright. I'm a detective. A detective? Really? Well, nice talking to you. Hold on. There's someone that wants to meet you. Just let me have an hour. No half an hour of your time. My daddy always told me not to talk to strangers. This is very important. It's about your birth. I'm not interested. Are you still following me? Do I have to scream? Sorry. I'll wait here. Surprisingly chill music right now. So yeah, I don't think Heather knows where they came from. I'm assuming Harry probably didn't tell them. Is that a save point? Oh, hey, look at that. Reflections. Like, detailed reflections. Cool. The mark on this mirror looks so familiar somehow. What do I know it from? Where did I once see it? Why does my head hurt so much when I try to remember it? Checking memory card, save possible, awesome. I'm not sure why you had to look through all like 25 plus slots to determine that there's one slot open, but thank you. Yeah, they definitely don't know where they came from. I wonder why that detective's interested in us. Oh, or Oh, we're supposed to go there. Right, we're ditching him through the window. Okay. <laughs> Can I go back in? I wanna know if there's anything I missed. I don't like mirrors. That's fair. Guess someone's in there. Yeah, it's occupied. Rude of me to keep on knocking, huh? Just gotta check. Okay. Road is blocked with empty boxes and stuff. Can't get through. Look at that sky. This is probably the only glimpse of 
bright sky we're ever going to see. Hold on, what's over here though? Well, that's helpful. Maybe I should walk around it. Never mind. How did this car park here? <laughs> Good question. Um, so yeah, by the way, I did know from playing the demo that uh, that thing was a dream at the amusement park. I knew it ended on the roller coaster. I didn't remember the details though, like I thought we had to actually do stuff, solve some puzzles or something, get some keys. I didn't realize you're just supposed to run and run and run. That's terrifying. It's a hell of an introduction. And I think that's where the demo ended. At that cutscene on the uh, on the roller coaster trail. Trail? Roller coaster track. Lock is broken. Lock it just won't open. Guess I'll just leave it alone. God, what a creepy place to be sort of trapped in. Okay. Yeah, we're uh, we're switching over to the other world. Sort of slowly, it seems like. Fireproof shutters are down. Can't get past here. What are those voices? I hate those things, they're so gross. What the hell is this thing? Are those huge bones exposed in their bulbous arms? Ugh. So I wonder why we're coming back to this world. Are we in Silent Hill right now? Like, the diner that we woke up at, was that in or around Silent Hill? I know it was a... Nearby, somewhere I saw a sign for that that uh, burger place that I've seen in Silent Hill before. But I mean, that could just be a chain. Doesn't necessarily mean it's in Silent Hill. But I have no doubt we're going back there. And I wonder why. You know, what what's happened? What's happened with the whole cult? In the original Silent Hill, why, why does somebody want to meet me about my birth? Something is happening again for all of this to be happening, right? Something's starting up, but what? Handgun bullets. Yes. 
it's not that I hate clothes, but this isn't the time or place. I can tell from here that it's dead. Should I call the police? Not like they'd believe me if I said someone's been killed by a monster. I mean, I don't know. The body's right there. For the monster. Dressing rooms. It's definitely not human. I've never heard of such an animal. And no way is it a costume. Sounds crazy when you say it, but monster is the only word for it. But I don't think I'm crazy. Nothing on the shop counter particularly catches my eye. Do I have to manually reload my pistol? Holds 10 rounds of ammunition, small and not powerful, but easy to use. Yeah, I do have to reload it. Okay. Where does it say how much ammo I have in total? Is it under supplies? Okay, it is. Yeah, so categories of items are a new thing that weren't in the original Silent Hill. Also, the aesthetic of the monsters feels very different compared to the original as well. That whole, like, violently shaking head thing? That's not in the original Silent Hill. I don't think there's any. I don't think that ever happens. So that's pretty new. I'm not sure if that was in Silent Hill 2 either, or if it's new to this game. It, so this must be the... Uh, oh! Oh! Okay. Yeah, um, let's not go that way. Hmm. Don't have a map of this area. Elevator won't come. Is it broken or something? Oh, a map! Got the shopping mall map. Thank God. Is it weird that I'm excited to see how Heather's gonna notate the map? Damn, this place is big. I mean, can I zoom in like yes I can? I'm gonna kinda need to, because I could barely see some of those marks indicating which places you can go and which ones you can't go. It's hard to get through here with all the boxes and pallets. Yeah, I really like all of the descriptions. I mean, I know, like, the ones we've seen so far haven't exactly been very... Uh, they haven't added much characterization to Heather so far. But it is nice to have unique descriptions for stuff. Even if it's something as simple as, hey, there's a bunch of boxes and pallets blocking the way. Yeah. Fuck, there's an entire second floor. Jesus Christ. I hate those noises! Ah, uh, I think it's one of those huge things. Um, let's... Uh, let's not. Let's really not. Let's finish exploring the first floor. Jesus Christ. Uh, oh no, I don't have my flashlight yet. Like I had in the dream. Yeah, no flashlight and no radio either, right? It's my front door key. <laughs> I wonder if I'll ever get to use that. Pendant. Dad gave me this pendant on my birthday. It's one of my treasured belongings. What is that? 
There's a jewel inside, like a little red tablet. It, wait, is it a jewel or is it a red tablet? Like, I'm wondering if it's that drug. Remember that red drug that was thrown at Alessa in the original Silent Hill and it's like a, a demon repelling drug juice thing? I don't know what the hell it is, but I wonder if this is like a little bit of that stuff. Just in case Heather needs it at some point. Daisy Villa Apartment, Daisy Villa Apartment 102, carved onto the key. I love that I just have my front door key, even though it honestly feels like I probably will never use it. But it's just a nice, I don't know, just a nice thing that makes it feel more authentic, because of course you'd have your front door key. If I go back here, that's where the dog was, right? Yeah, uh, I'm seeing an open pathway, actually. I can actually point with my mouse, right? No, the mouse doesn't show up on screen. Um, yeah, there's an open pathway right there that'll lead to the rest of this place. I don't remember actually going there. Oh, and the save point is over there in the bathroom. I feel like I'm going to be stuck in this damn mall forever. It's huge. It's so big. I wonder if this is going to be one of the major settings like the uh, the hospital and the school was in the original Silent Hill. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go here and kill that dog. Oh. Oh no, wait, that was actually... Yeah, uh, I think there's another dog. I thought it was just letting me uh, kick the dog even after it was dead. Because it let me kick so many times. I thought it just allows you to kick dead bodies, but... No, I, I actually needed to kick it that many times to kill it. Which, you know what? Fair enough. In the original Silent Hill, if you had the ability to kick an enemy, it was just an insta-kill. Like... Harry's foot was just so powerful. And it's fair that Heather's is not nearly as powerful because, I mean, you know, not everybody can have a, a lead magical foot like the superhero Harry Mason Jar. I totally forgot what I was doing. Reloading my weapon. Sorry, pupper. God, they're so disturbing looking. Do I really have to kick it that many times? I was kicking it past the point where the blood was pooling out of it. Okay, so this is the whole place. I'm, I'm out in the main hallway. I hear those voices again. I'd like to get to that safe point if I could. That's the place where I was attacked, right? Yeah. Oh, look at that lighting. Shadow being cast from the light inside of this store. That's really cool. Yeah, I'm pretty sure none of these are going to open, but I want to mark them on the map anyway, just so I know. Upstairs. 
Yeah, that's all locked. Oh, some of the locked places that I just went to aren't even marked on the map. Whoops. So where does that leave me? It leaves me with the stairs plus I should try this door right here that leads out to the rest of the place. I haven't tried that one apparently. Yeah, this one at the end of the hallway. Of course. Fuck, I have to go upstairs. Okay. Can I really still go out the exit? And it still looks pretty out here? Oh, well. Not really. Now it's like a rusty fog. What about the car? Eh, still there. Okay. Upstairs it is. So in the cutscene, I took, an, I think, an entire magazine to kill that big thing, so I probably don't want to shoot that big thing right now. Ready to run. Mm, oh, what the hell is that thing? Yeah, I think it just lets you kick quite a few times, just immediately after their death, so you don't actually have to kick, like, keep kicking. Maybe just like a, a satisfying make sure they're dead kind of thing. At least it wasn't one of those huge things. What is that, though? Hi there. Oh no, I only have one round left. Wow, that dog's really just chowing down. I don't think I need to kill it. Beef jerky! I think, I think it's teaching me that I can use beef jerky to distract them. Processed dried meat, sometimes it's just enough to distract monsters. Meant for dogs, so I think I'll pass. Do I have to equip it or can I just use it? Can't pick it up. One time use jerky. Okay. I don't think there's anything else in that room, right? Ugh. God, it's so loud. Okay, I think it was already eating beef jerky, though, and, like, if I get super close to it, I think it sees me anyway, so I don't think it's gonna work in this tiny, tiny room. That's a pretty clever way to teach me about beef jerky. Right? Like, actually make you get beef jerky right next to uh, a dog that's eating beef jerky. So it kind of shows you like, hey, not only did you just get this item, but here's how it's used. Save point. Horrible noises. It's gone. It sounded like people... 
like uh, people stomping around on the roof. Or ceiling, I mean. Health drink, health drink, ammo, heck yes. Lots of stuff, but none of it really looks like it'll be useful. Is there a thing in the pallet? Yeah. Something's fallen between the table and the floor. I think it might be a key. If my arms were a little longer, I might be able to reach it. There's a huge pile of cardboard boxes on the table full of books. It's way too much of a pain to move something that heavy. I mean, I feel like in this sort of situation, I would just kind of grin and bear it, but... If my arms were longer... Can I use my knife? No, so it... Yeah, it's just like Silent Hill 1 where you can't actually use weapons. Like, on the environment. Okay, I have to come back for you. It's like a magic circle I remember reading about in a book on black magic. Does it seem so familiar, be familiar because I read about it in that book? No, that's not it. It's not the book. It's from the altar. Altar? What am I thinking? Yeah, Heather has some very repressed memories of where they came from. Alright, well, I think that's a pretty good place to end this episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. I certainly have. I'm really curious how Heather is going to be tied back into to what's happening. You know, how they're being brought back to Silent Hill, why, they're, why there's the sudden interest in them. Yeah, has the cult been revived or something? Or having a resurgence of some sort? And they need Heather for another demon birth? I don't know, but I'm really curious. Hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.